Um, so welcome, welcome everybody. I am super excited to be here today. We are going to be giving you some tips and tricks and showing you exactly, you know, how you can contour, highlight, and use blush on your face. Um, and I don't know, I, I have some like really good tips that people probably haven't heard yet too. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Lee Rader and I've been a licensed cosmetologist for 27 years. I'm also a modus field consultant and I absolutely love, love all things beauty. And I am joined today with my friend Song Lopez. So if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Song, also known as Sass Goddess, and I am here and excited to share with you all my tips and tricks, tips and tricks and dropping gems for you. I have been in the beauty industry, makeup and hair for 25 years here in Las Vegas, gracing all these beautiful, beautiful people out here with my talent and skills, and now I'm here to share it with you. So thank you for being here. I'm excited to be here with you. And so I, I think we should just get into it. And like the first palette that I wanna show everybody is the Shape Up palette. This is the Motives Contouring palette and it's called Shape Up because look at all these wonderful colors that you have in here. Um, what's really nice about it is these are all matte highlighters and contours. So you can use these on all different areas of your face. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start contouring how I contour in my face. And it's going to really depend on your face shape, but there are some like basic contour steps that you can do. So tell us a little bit about contouring and like how you determine how to contour a face song. Well, how I do the same as Lee, but I have a couple tricks for you guys. So what I like to do when I find have a new person sitting in my chair, I find this little ledge. There's this little flat ledge bone you have on the side of your cheek. As you can see, I have none, no contour on. This is a night, this is a natural contour. Mm -hmm. So this is where I find, if you can't find it, find that little flat ledge. And that's where I'll add my contour for my clients. And I do tend to, depending on the shape phase, I do like to start from the edge of the eye and contour back. But again, if you have a different face shape, you might need to contour in and, and just knowing your face. So those are a couple of little tricks. And I like to use a contour brush, which has a slight angle to it. So what's really nice about it is it fits right in that spot. Now these are, these are powder contours, which I find are a little bit easier to blend for, you know, if you're just starting out with contour, like this is really the way to go. But it's also a way you can get more of that natural contour, but you can get a little bit more dramatic if you want it that way as well. So there's, there's different uses for it. I don't know about you, Song, but I actually like to mix a couple of the contour powders on the bottom. Um, most recently, I've been using Cafe and Bon Bon, and I literally just like dip my brush in there, and then I always like to just do that just to get the excess off, and I'll literally go in here and almost go in like circular motion so that I can blend up and I won't get that real harsh line. Love that. Yes. And I also, Bon Bon is one of my favorites, which is this shade here. And I agree with Lee. I am the same. I love to custom blend my powders and just mixing it up where I can change the shades of it as well. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid to mix and match, guys. You have this palette that is so versatile that can help you kind of create more depth or lightness, you know? So it's just fun to play with, see what you like. And you know what else I tell people? It's like, if, don't be afraid. If you get too much on, you can literally take your powder brush, put a little translucent powder on it or your base shade and just go over it and kind of buff it out a little bit. So don't be afraid to kind of just play around with it. Generally, you're gonna put contour colors where you wanna push back and recede. So by us putting this right under our cheekbones, you guys kind of see how that brings out our cheekbones a little bit. But the other place that I am gonna actually contour is my forehead. My forehead's a little big, so I like to make it like a little bit smaller, but for this, I'm actually gonna take Oats and Honey which is kind of a lighter, warmer shade. And I'm gonna mix that with Bon Bon. 
And I'm literally going to take the same brush and just go up in my forehead and kind of buff around my hairline a little bit and give the illusion that my forehead isn't quite as big as it is. Now, of course, if you that. have a small forehead, you wouldn't you need to do this because, you know, it, it's already small. But if you have one like mine. And I like the balance of it. So a lot of times when you're contouring, you know, the forehead, even if it's um, a little just I just so, um, like to make sure that I have a nice balance of the face. So I will definitely put it up there. But one of the other places that I like to put it is right in my temples, right up here. And I draw it to my hairline. Did you see how that just lifted my eye shape up? So by just putting it right here, it kind of just lifts and pulls your eye, gives the illusion that's pulling up as well as blending mm. in and connecting all the dots here. And then I'll draw down into the cheek area. It's almost like a C. Again, this gets it and brings it all together. You could just see already how this yes. just gives it a nice little definition of your face. So a lot of times when we contour, we want the definition. I love that. And the great thing about this palette is it's really good for all different skin tones, you know, whether you're cool, warm, light, medium, dark, um, you can just kind of mix the colors to your liking. Now I'm also going to take a little bit of this tiramisu here, which is the darkest shade, and I'm going to mix that with the oats and honey, which if you remember is kind of that warmer, lighter shade. And I'm going to put just a little bit under here because as I age, I'm just getting a little bit loose right there, a little jolly. So we're going to hide that. So if any of you have this, this is the thing to do. And then I'm literally going to just take it around here. And then I like to even swipe it down the side of my neck to make my neck look a little bit slimmer. I love that. And so what I, I do the same as Lee, I mean, we both do it same and we have different shape faces. So I'm going to show you guys, I'll take tiramisu and mix it with cafe because I want the depth and um, I just want to lighten it a little bit. If you can see my shape face, I just have it really more slender here than this side. Yes. So what I like to do is draw it up a little bit more down here. So it balances out over here where I'll keep it down. When you know your face, you're able to kind of adjust and see it. So it's not just so much putting it on, oh, I'm on a robot. I know the shape of my yes. face because I invested in it. So then I'll just kind of know that I have to go up a little higher here into the jawline down and I will drop it down as well. So there is a nice blending. I love and that. when I do, if I feel like I need to blend out more, I will use a lighter color um, like stone if I need to kind of blend it out. So I do love this palette for that. That's a great tip. So I, I, ha I actually do this every day and people might not know this, but I'm on Zoom most days and I wanna look, you know, I'm looking at myself. So I wanna look my best. I will take the same brush and I'll put just a little bit of, I think I used Bon Bon and Oats and Honey, and then I will pinch the brush so it's a little bit thinner. And I'm just going to contour my nose just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see what that did, but it's actually yes. to make it look a little slimmer. And then my nose actually dips down. So I just take a little bit under here to make it look like it's not dipping down and then I'll kind of blend that in. So real easy, you don't have to get another brush out. It's right there. And then should I share my secret of what I was doing before we went live? My little Pop tip. The gems, girl, we're all here for it, yes. Okay, if you guys have gray hairs popping up, which I do, because my hair grows super fast. So I'm coloring my hair like, you know, every three to four weeks. I was literally taking tiramisu, this dark one, and kind of a white, wider, flatter brush. And I was literally just going like this and covering my grays. Brilliant. It's a little, tip, it's a little secret for you ladies or oh, men. Goodness. Yes. Look at that. You can't even tell. <laughs> I know. You would That's never know magic. I have grays up there. And girl, they're like more and more every day. 
That is magic. I love that. This palette is amazing for that. Wow. So I just want to, before we move on, I have to share what I do with this Irish cream, because if you've been paying attention, this is one of the only colors I haven't used yet. So this is actually a matte kind of highlighter. And so I will take a brush you can use. This is like one of my favorite sculpting brushes, but you can literally use a foundation brush. You can use a powder brush and I will dip in the Irish cream, tap it off. And I will just put a little bit of this underneath my eye just to brighten a little bit. You don't want to put shimmer underneath there. You want to use a matte powder, but because this is a little bit lighter, it will just give the illusion of a brighter, more kind of like awake look. And you would never know that I have dark circles under my eyes. Oh, I love that. So my tip with this, you guys, with either Irish cream or scone, I could get away with either. Any of you guys can too. But what I like to do with it to define my contour a little bit more, I like, we'll take a smaller dense brush and watch this. I will add a little Ooh. highlight to that. And my contour just popped and gave me more definition in my cheek. Do you see I'm gonna that? Do that? I'm gonna do that. Yes. And you know, if I, when you use a denser brush, you can kind of pack on the color for more um, pigment. And this is where I want to kind of go more severe so you can see the difference. And then I can even go touch up, you know, my contour in this and bam. Because whenever you oh highlight, God. even with this matte, it pops, it brings it yes. out, which then deepens the contour. So that's I love that tip. tip. And that's so easy, you guys. Like, do you guys agree that anybody can do this, what we're showing you now? Would you have to do all of these steps every day? No, it's really up to you. But you can use contouring and highlighting to actually change the and give a different illusion of your face and your face shape. And, you know, so why not? So it's so absolutely versatile. And I literally also took Irish cream and I'm just kind of patting a little bit in my T-zone just because I tend to get a little bit oily there. Yes. So I don't want to get too shiny. So that will help it. And I should also mention that I did put foundation on prior to, you know, going live. So you can put this over your foundation. I did use a liquid foundation um, and I'm putting the powder, you know, on top. And you can even with the Irish cream and the scone um, also highlight just above that contour as well on your cheek. And that will again also give you that real good definition in your cheek. And I love that Lee said that this doesn't have to be every day, but let me tell you something. When I take photos, I definitely love to have this extra help and definition. So I'm not having to pull my chin out so much, <laughs> but this is going to give me the help to uh, make sure those photos are amazing or those Instagram, you know, worthy photos. So, you know, every day I don't do this, but on those days where I want to have a really amazing photo, this is definitely something I take an extra five minutes just to play with. I love that. And even though these are powders, they're very, very blendable. And the thing is too, it won't clog your pores. It's very, mm -hmm. very velvety kind of on the skin too. So if you're new to contouring, I highly, highly recommend the Shape Up contour palette by motives cosmetics are you ready to move on i'm ready girlfriend next so i have to ask because this is really different for everybody now do you like to do your blush next or do you like to do your highlight next like your shimmer highlight or I your actually, glow? I, i'm a i'm a finisher with highlight because it's yeah. such a detailed product that i actually like doing blush next that's what i like too but here's the thing you guys like there's no like rule to applying so do what works best for you you might hear some people say the opposite but i do i like to apply my blush first because then i can kind of layer my highlight on top of my blush in certain spots so we're going to actually use our get cheeky blush palette by motives cosmetics now i have to like tell you i've been using this in my kit so much so there are some dents and it's not perfect so you can see that it's definitely yeah. used However, with that being said, very, very pigmented. You don't really need a lot. I just want to hold it up again because you can see that there's actually quite a few different shades and there's 
matte and then there's also some shimmers and you know some pearl in the blushes so i actually like to kind of mix and match but it will sort of like depend on what i'm wearing what color my lips are going to be you know what's on my eyes for my eyeshadow so i actually use all these colors not all always at once but at different times depending on what i'm what i'm wearing all so right today, i think because what did i put on my lips so today i kind of have more of the tone of these two blushes on so i'm actually going to mix this and I'm going to mix a little bit. Of, so this is um, Charmer. Armor, and I'm going to mix a little bit with Playful just because I want a little bit more of that kind of pearl, I guess, tone to it. All right. And I am going to try Heartbreaker mixed with Flirty. So Ooh. I'm going with like a peach and a pink, guys. I want to show you that you can make these yes. colors. I love to custom blend. I don't like to just put a color on. Sometimes I might no. just use even four. Yes. And the the great thing about this is like, I want you guys to also think outside the box because I'm gonna share a little secret with you. Some of these colors, or actually I should say all of these colors, you could actually use them as eyeshadow as well. So they do double as that. So, um, you know, sometimes people think, oh, it's blush. It's only blush. No, you can use it for more. So I'm going to use my blush brush and I do like kind of a fluffier blush brush and I just dipped in both. So I'm layering them together. I like to tap off the excess. Now, the way that you apply your blush can also depend on your face shape as well. So if you do want to know more about face shapes and, and how to apply, we do have a blog post up on modasacademy.com you want to dig more into it. But for my face shape, what I like to do is I start kind of applying my blush right here, um, kind of on the apples of my cheeks and I'll start swirling around and I will like literally just kind of swoop up and blend. And you can see that, you can see it, but I'm gonna put a little more on so you can see so it more. So beautiful. I love that. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you two examples. I'm going to use one side and do one and do the other because sometimes I'm feeling really cutesy and flirty. Sometimes I'm feeling savage and like I want to cut my face in a really, you know, dynamic way. I so the that. first thing I'm going to do is take my blush and just kind of blend into the contour and just keeping it away from the apple of my cheek and reinforcing that contour with a little bit of color. And that just gives me a very defined cheekbone with a little bit of color okay oh, and go ahead i was just gonna say can you guys kind of see that i actually did go right here kind of swir swirl up above that contour so it's like contour blush yes it's good to blend into it mm -hmm. and sometimes when i'm feeling a little more flirty i would like i take my blush and i do it full face apple just like lee did and that's what's so beautiful. It's just like, who do you feel like being today? Can you see the difference? Yes, I like, I really do like that color on you. So there's this mm -hmm. and this. Ah. I mean, who do you want to be today? Girls, we can change any time. So, and here's time. another example too. Like if you are not used to such pigmented blush and you're like, oh, I got a little bit too much on, you can go back in your contour um, palette and get those lighter colors out and just kind of dust over it and blend it in. It's okay. But I will tell you that blush kind of adds a little bit more like color and like life to your face. So if you saw me when I started, I actually was pretty monotone because I just had that foundation on and I did get a little sun this weekend. So like, I'm, I'm glad I'm putting a little bit more color in my face so it kind of matches the rest of my body. You know what I also, um, with the blush that I like to do, is I also like to kind of draw up the leftovers into the cheek area because I like to give the illusion that it is airbrushed and more organic and natural yeah. versus blush. So I kind of will take the eggs up, just lightly brush it up into that temple area so it all kind of blends together. And I will tell you, sometimes I'm just like, little pop here, mm -hmm. here, here, if I feel like yeah. it, just to give that, that look and... Do you know what color works great for doing that too? Is this just crush alone? Can you guys Ooh. see how it's almost like, this is like your sun kissed kind of blush. So you can, yeah, I'm gonna literally take a little bit of that and just go 
right there just to add a little bit of glow. I'm feeling yeah. a little bit summery. I'm exactly. So let us know as we go along if you guys have any questions and we will be sure to answer them. Um, but you probably noticed too, and you did it too. And I, and I wanted to point this out. Like when I put my blush on, I don't go like, I go kind of like that. So I can see where that dimple or not dimple, but indent is. And that's yeah. how I know like where to start. And I do that with my contour too. Just kind of, can you do that? You just kind of. Yeah. So you don't really suck dip. in, right? You don't go, you just kind of go. Yeah. We're doing like face yoga, I feel like. Exactly. Exactly. With makeup, you guys, isn't that so cool? So we kind of like spilled the beans, prior, you know, prior to blush, because we were talking about our highlight palette, but we do have a beautiful highlight palette called That Glow Though. And wait till you see this. It is more of your like glow, like, um, strobing sort of palette so like if you want more of that youthful glow this palette is for you so i what are you going to use i'll let you go because i've been like choosing first okay so with the highlight um i am going to go ahead i'm feeling really bronzy today like she was saying kind of like summery so i'm going to actually use this bronzed and i think i'm going to mix it with beam so bronze and beam, these two right here. I like that. Thank you, yeah. So be because you're doing that, I am going to use more of the pink undertone. So I'm gonna use bling, which is right here, and I'm gonna use glow, which is right here. So I'll, okay. I'll let you go. Okay, so uh, the brush, I like to use a more fluffier brush with the highlight and, and a little more smaller for control. This one might be a little bit small, but I'm going to use this because you, I want to control where it's going. I do, the bigger the brush, the more area it covers. Okay. So I like to put it, okay, so when you're looking for highlight, guys, you want to see where the light is going to naturally organically hit. And it's usually at the high points where the cheeks are, the brow bones. And I just like to lightly put it in this area and draw it up Look here. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love it. It's so much fun. And it so looks like natural, but like, just, I don't know. Yes. Sexy almost. You don't want it to look unnatural. So I know a lot of times people put a uh, highlight in here, they think they're bronzing, yeah. but you just want to be really careful. The, the, the highlight should be very intentional about where you're placing it. I love that. So I'm going to actually use a fan brush to apply oh, mine. I love that. And I just took it in the glow and the bling, and I'm just kind of like dusting both sides. And then again, I always like to just hit it on the side of my palette. And I'm going to actually kind of do the same thing, but I'm just using like the tips of the brush and I am applying it here. And then I will take my brush and kind of angle it and apply it here. Because again, like Song said, where is the light hitting the face? You know, it's funny because I was actually doing um, some research recently and I came upon an article that was talking about when highlighting and contouring first really started with makeup artists. And it was all about like on set, where would the light, the sun naturally hit the face? And that's really what they were trying to do for movies and, you know, things like that. So you're so right where you want it to be natural, I guess like natural, but enhanced, right? Exactly. You want to look like it just like, oh, that lighting is so perfect and you have it you know, hit at the perfect spot. But I do have some tips for some other areas too. Oh, tell us, tell us. Okay, so what I like to do, and I'll probably take a much lighter color. Let's go with glow. I mean, who doesn't want to use glow? This is glow right here. And I will take a, a very tiny brush and I will put it just right under my brow bone just to give that little pop. Again, where light will hit I wanted to just one side. I love seeing comparisons so I can see how it really works. What do you think? Do you see the difference? I love that. See, this has and nothing. 
yeah, it just like kind of almost opens it up a little bit, but it, it still blends in. So it's not like a harsh line. And I will literally do the same thing when we get a different brush. So I'm going to use a crease brush and let me use Gleam because you used it. What one did you use? Glow. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to use Gleam, which is sort of like just a pearl. And I'm going to take that and put it right in my inner corner of my eye because that's a little trick that can make your eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit more awake, a little bit more open. It doesn't take much. I'm literally taking it and going kind of in that inner part and then just pulling it down underneath my eye. And it's like, you can see it, but it's not again, overdoing it. It's stunning. I love it so much. So we do have a question that I just want yes. to, um, to answer. So the question is, how long do they last or how to keep them sanitized? So, well, this is my first one for each of these and you can see how pigmented they are. So they do last quite, quite a, a while. And what you wanna do is you wanna just saturate them with 70% alcohol every once in a while and that will actually sanitize them. This, these are actually sanitized quite often because I use them a lot. So if you're using them in your kit on other people, you want to sanitize them every time you use them. But I don't know, how long do you think they last? I mean, if it, you're just using it for yourself, it will last a long time, depending on how much, because they're so pigmented and they're so large, you get a lot of product. You're mm -hmm. not going to run through. I mean, I use this all the time. And I also use it on set. And I'm going to tell you, like, there's not even a dent in it because it's so, there's so much product. So yeah, um, it and it's, a, it's a nice formula too. Like it doesn't, it, it doesn't break up very easily. Like I actually dropped my palette the other day and it, it didn't break. I mean, it could break, but it's not going to break as much as like something in, this is almost like a, a really thick cardboard. So, Ooh, did you swatch so, it all in your hand? I, yeah, I just wanted to swatch to see. I just yeah. literally took a little bit and look at that. I mean, you don't need a lot. It was just a tiny bit on my hand. And look how natural and there's not little to no fallout. And it's just super finely milled. You know, I know a lot of highlighters can tend to be a little bit uh, bigger in the product of the powder. And so you can kind of see chunks of it. But this yeah. is just... They that. almost like um, melt into the skin. Yeah, too. I mean, look, you can't even tell that I have it. It looks yeah. like a natural light is hitting it. And I love that. So um, I have to share another place that I use this. Um, oh girl, I have even though too. I already have my lipstick on, I'm literally going to take Gleam again, which if you remember is that pearl color on the same brush, it's a, a crease brush. And I'm actually going to go on just like my Cupid's bow. I love that. I'm going to do that too. I can't make it too pouty though. Cause my husband will come home and be like, wow, you look amazing. <laughs> but no, I just put a little bit here just to add a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my shape out palette out again. And I am going to take Bon Bon on the same crease brush. I just kind of wiped it off a little bit. And I'm going to put a little contour powder there. So that's going to actually make my bottom lip look a little bit bigger. So dark pushes back, light brings out. Now I actually... So I am going to share another tip. I'm going to take it up to the eyes, you guys, again, and I'm going to use Gleam, this really the lightest color in it. And this is just like if somebody has like a smaller eye, I will literally put it in the center of the eyelid just to pop it. As you can see, it changes my whole look. And you can do it with any of the colors. So that that's looks nice absolutely one. gorgeous. I love it. I love it too. Again, um, what is this doing? It's bringing out, it's yes, pulling the lid forward. For sure. So I, I do have a little bit of highlighter on my fan brush. 
And I'm not going to put it on my tip because you can see I have enough natural highlight on my tip. My nose gets a little, but I want to just take it just in the center of the bridge of my nose. Just right there. Yeah, Ooh, that's gorgeous. The highlight is so versatile. I'm going to show you another trip. So if you have a smaller forehead or a forehead that maybe needs to kind of come forward and you're contouring up here, another way to use this uh, highlight is just, again, not a ton, but just kind of puts them in the center here. And that's going to pull the forehead forward and recess back even more the uh, contour that you have upstairs. So and that's a fun tip. while you're doing that, I'm going to take my fan brush, but wait, there's more. And I am going to take bronzed, which you used before. And I am going to literally go like this. Oh, body glow. I feel like we really are like battling it out. Like we are like, <laughs> wait till you see what I do. Oh yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do another. <laughs> Look at it. And so if I was wearing, okay, so you can't really see it, but if I was wearing like a nice summer dress or something, you can actually use these on your body too to kind of give the illusion. And, you know, it'll give like that bronzed look right on my collarbone right here. And you can see where my, where I got my sun. That was with sunscreen. So make sure you reapply your sunscreen. Yeah, and I like that she said that. So when you're putting the powder on a dry body, it's not going to really stay. So it's okay to mm -hmm. get a little lotion, put it on there, and then add that highlighter to mm -hmm. it. And I, it will stick to it, and it will give you that really beautiful bronze glow. And then when you feel like you have, you know, all of your highlights and contour and blush, I really like to set everything. And you can even set this area with my 10 years younger setting spray we also have a no more shine so if you have more combination oily skin you can use this one if you have more normal to dry skin you can use this one i tend to have oily skin but i do like to sometimes use 10 years younger because it this one gives you kind of like that natural glow um and the no more shine is going to be a little bit more matte so you can just shake it up and it lasts makes everything last 16 hours it says on the bottle and i'm just going to spritz I mean, I know this is a little off topic, but that setting spray is amazing because I will actually use it with some of my shadows and create really colorful eyeliners with it that'll set it while I'm dipping the shadow into that. It's such a great product. And you know what else is great about it too? Like if you're like, oh, maybe I put too much powder on and you know, this will kind of like make everything just go together. So if you get a little bit too much powder on your skin, this will kind of liven it up and you can literally spray yourself throughout the day kind of cools your skin and it just makes everything stay in place. So I use this on all my brides. I know you do and on set. And I actually do my makeup normally pretty early in the morning. And my makeup looks really good when I take it off at night yet. I mean, it stays really nice. Set it and forget it. Yeah. Set it and forget it. I love that. Yeah. So I use that setting spray for eyeliners and I will create some of the coolest eyeliners with it. So, so worth it all. So I don't know if you, do you have anything else you want to share with them or do you, do you think we covered it all? I think that we gave you guys so many gems to play with and practice with. I mean, I think I can come up with more, but those are my staples, of, you know, and I don't do all this all the time. It's more like, oh, today I feel like a little pop on the nose or a pop on the cheek. So, you know, you guys have an arsenal of tools and tips and tricks now to help elevate your makeup game. I love that. And this was literally three palettes, three palettes, mm -hmm. and we could do all of this with it. I, I should have maybe done my eyes with it, but maybe that'll be another, that'll be another session. We can show you that, but you guys, like, honestly, if you have these write in the comments, what you love about them, if you don't have them, we actually have the links right in the comments that you can click and order. And, uh, Gosh, this was so much fun being with you today. I couldn't wait to see you, even though it's virtual. I know we're states apart, but it's just always a joy to kind of spend time with you. I had so much fun playing with you and sharing in this moment. So thank you so much for having me.
Thank you. And thank you everybody for watching and keep on commenting. We'll go back and we'll read the comments and we will answer any questions if you are watching this on you know, the recording. So, but thank you all for joining us and thank you again.